So I could just like turn around and, shit and twerk in front of him and shake my ass and this guy's just still pissed off. Oh, this is the secret level. I actually like this level. I think it's cool. You know, this is zero G right now. It's the bomb diggity. This guy don't know what he's doing with his life. Ugh. Gotta get that backpack. Ah, shit. I think in the future there's gonna be zero G stuff. That'd be cool. I want to be a part of that. I want to jump all the way to the ceiling like 10 meters. It's like that zero G stuff like in um, that game Dead Space. I, but you know what? In Dead Space I hated the zero G and I hate landing in lava too. But I hated the zero G stuff in Dead Space. It was kind of annoying. But I'm still curious about that game. I'm curious about the remake, which is going to be coming out this year, and hopefully they don't murder it. I was waiting for the Callisto Project, or what was it, the Callisto Protocol, because it's like a spiritual successor to it. I was hoping in that, I was hoping, what the hell is hoping, that's not even a word. I was hoping that the Callisto Protocol was going to be like a dead space, like to satiate that, but... I heard it wasn't really that great, so... Yeah. I gotta go back upstairs. Ah, oh, damn, I got hit with that. Sucks. We don't understand these people. What if, like, in Quake, like, these things were just... They were not, like, really evil creatures, per se. Oh shit. They were just trying to protect their home and I'm the alien because evidently I'm the alien. I'm the only human amongst these uh, foul creatures. But what if it's like, you know, this is their norm. This is, you know, what if I'm the evil person? And what if these people, they were just living in peace? Yeah, look at this. This stuff is scary. They got skulls and, you know. But what if that was like, you know, they got crosses here. What if this was, like, heaven? Why would you have crucifixes there? But then again, why would you have, like, pentagrams? Maybe this is a culture that embraces both, but you know what? Overall, they were probably peaceful, but not, you know, not chicken shit. So here I come. I'm just a regular dude. Some Somebody opened a portal to their world, and then they're kind of pissed off. So then they just want to make the first move because they're just willing to protect their own homeland. And then here I come. I come fucking up shit. Stealing their runes and whatnot. Pressing their buttons. I gotta kill this guy first. You're priority number one. I don't want to deal with you. Ah, oh, shit. I don't want to deal with you. Gotta find a way to get up there. Without getting up there. You know what I'm saying? Bro. I mean, that is sacrilegious right there, that, that, you know, that looks like Jesus. Which is funny, like I said, I grew up in a Catholic house. So then, you know, my sisters and I, we saw that pentagram and then I think my sister ratted me out. Like, she's like, mom, he's playing games that are evil. Baron is playing games that are evil. I don't know. She was like, oh, you need to do the sign of the cross. I don't know if she really ratted me out. I don't think so, because I still play this game. I was just like, 
my thing was this is like yo I was scared of stuff like that as a kid so like I wouldn't mess with like anything with the pentagram so anytime I saw that pentagram I avoided it because I was like nah I don't want this evil and I was a kid at the time so it's funny I'm blowing up monsters but I refuse to grab that pentagram because it's evil I find it funny The you know, Quake is one of those, definitely one of those weird games that I can never, like, make it out. Like, you know, it's just, it's a weird game. It's a, it's a solemn game. It's a creepy game. But I'm playing it at late night, you know, so that, that says a lot. And you know I'm an adult. I'm an adult and I'm playing Quake at late night. I'm saving my rockets. Alright, so I just slaughtered a bounty of these guys. And let me go into that little, that little doorway right there. Need to get that health kit. I mean, I don't really need it because in nightmare mode, your health is half of what you initially get. Like, I'm 50. I was gonna be permanently 50 in this game because they just cut the health in half in hard in nightmare mode. But that's something that they did like recently, like at the request of like the community because they felt like you know what. Nightmare mode is not hard enough, so how about you cut our health in half and just cap it there. But I think it's a welcoming change to me because I kind of feel like that. And I've already beat this game. Like... I've already beat this game. Like, this version of the game, I've already beaten it. And this is like the new version, the, the next gen version that they did. So, that's another thing. There's a secret there. I don't think I got all the secrets, but you know what? I'm not a completionist. I just want to beat the game. Because there's other levels. Like, they come out with, you know, level packs for the anniversary. You know, about, like, two years ago. And they're beautifully done. Like, new, brand new levels. Beautiful, beautiful levels that I have yet to touch. But I want to touch it. But I don't feel right for me to touch it. Unless if I beat this base game. The two mission packs. And then I go forward. So that's what I'm going to try to do. So I'm pretty much eager to do that. And we're here in the Grizzly Grotto. You know. Or what is it? The Gloom Keep. Yes this is the Gloom Keep. This is where emo people have been created. And I'm gonna rocket jump, so... Ah, fuck. Let me do that again. Ah, fuck. Let me, I gotta do that again. Fuck. I'm just doing that because I, I really don't want to deal with that place later on. And that sucks ass. That was horrible. Yeah, I'm upstairs, I'm upstairs, yeah, yeah, fuck the system, fuck the system, fuck the system, I'm hardcore, I need help, oh fuck, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make it, but hey, Shambler! Wow, I made it. I actually made it. I'm proud of myself. Oh shit. There's a knight. It's a knight in shining armor. Oh, there's some infighting, yeah. 
All right, good stuff, good stuff. For some reason, I think it's the architecture of this little corridor right here. These fiends, they cannot get past this. Never have they ever gotten past this. So I could just like turn around and, sh and twerk in front of them and shake my ass and this guy's just still pissed off. And these guys upstairs, those knights they're running around in there, they're, they're pretty much pissed. Yo, he's mad. He's mad as hell. Look at this guy. Oh, what happened? Aww. That's so cute. It's like looking at a baboon in the zoo. Like, you make fun of the baboon, but what happens when that baboon, like, breaks the glass? You're fucked. So we're moving forward. We got a straggler, what? Do we got any more stragglers? Not totally sure. All right, let's let's continue forward. Forward motion. Uh, where were you when I was like throwing a party? You missed the party, man. spamming the shit out of it. <laughs> I think I killed both, all three of them. Just collect that. Because there's something down here. Wait a minute. No, there's something right here. Yeah. This place. Nicely done. Oof. Clovers. <laughs> clever, clever. What do we have here? Another night. Another day, but always true. It's like a vision of love. Seems to be true. <laughs> I talk, I talk, I talk to you <laughs> in the night, in your dreams. Oh uh, man, the 90s was a weird decade to me. But then again, I was a kid, so everything was weird to me. This decade is weirder. Push that up there. Moving forward. Ah, damn it. Let me get that health. Alright, I got the gold and silver key. There's a siren out there because I live in New York City so that's awesome and what goes in here 
Nothing because I already went to this room in the beginning so I don't have to go through this shit. And I'm glad. It's easier to do that. It's easier to do that with the quad damage. So, you know, I just slaughter everybody there. Yeah. What do we have? A long, narrow, little hole? Watch this. Experience has taught me that every time in this game you see like a long, narrow hole, just start spamming grenades. Because it's usually an ambush. And I hate dealing with ambushes. And also, if you look at the walls, and it's sometimes it's easy to miss, but if you just take a moment to take in the scenery and all its horror, you can see that certain things are mismatched and that for a good reason. Because it's a secret. But don't tell anybody, because it's supposed to be a secret. But usually I don't look for secrets like that. I'm not, I don't really care for it particularly. So I missed the secret, but I killed all the enemies. What is this place? What do they call it? The door to Chithon. The, the door to Thon. Chithon. Chithon. Chithon, th 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 thon. <laughs> Let's go. This is the door. This is what a door looks like in the dimension. I, I, I find that hard to accept. But this is the door to Thon. To Chithon or Chithon or Chithon. Chithon, 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 Chithon. This is his doorway. So. Are we going to desecrate it like we desecrated every other level before? Yes, we are going to desecrate it. And I got a text. I wonder who that is. Oh, it is a friend of mine who is laughing at one of my videos. <laughs> I got to answer that in a moment, but I'm playing game. What's in here? Alright, I open that door. I gotta shoot this button. This opens a little compact elevator. And then I go down here. And I got the quad damage, yeah! Let's do this shit. Oh, I thought there was somebody there. Shit. The way has been lit. Yeah, it's always been lit. Oh, you bitch. wonder like how it will feel to play this game in VR, like in true VR, not the VR that they have currently today, but like remake Quake 1 and then it's be in VR, this has to be a frightening experience. I'm like, oh shit! I love the way the zombies jib, I, I love the sound. I wish I don't have to deal with the freaking these guys man I hate those guys I hate the fiends the crack fiends I call them because if you live in like a major city in the world like America or something like that you know what the crack fiends are those are the quintessential crack fiends yeah right, let's go down here in the door to thorn to shop. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, that guy just scared me, man. Took down my armor, man. I gotta do this quick. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, 
There we go. Fight! Fight! Nicely done. Completed the level in 3 minutes and 35 seconds and 68 milliseconds, I guess. I don't know. But I didn't find all the secrets and I didn't kill all the enemies. But, again, let's continue forward. Where are we now? That was the door to Chathon. And now we're in the house of Chathon. Oh, we're in his house. Oh, all right. We're gonna have a party here. Look at that. Got that pink sky. Oh, shit. Look at that bitch. You know, the funny thing about it is that I knew about this enemy way before I played this game. And I read the strategy in that Nintendo Power magazine. But when I actually got this game... And I actually got to this part. I remembered everything else. But then I forgot how to beat this boss. And this is how you beat this boss. If you could call him a boss. I, I don't know what to, to, to freaking call him. This is no boss that I would ever call a boss. And that's the weird thing about this game. The bosses are not really bosses. They're just like puzzles. Like you don't spend any amount of ammunition but the thing is is that I did in the beginning before I remembered like oh I have to do this and electrocute him and then he dies and there you go so I died a lot because I was just too busy wasting ammunition on the guy let's go there we go we did it look at this look at oh look at that it's raining jibs hallelujah that's what's up so we completed the first episode of quake one and we're gonna read as the corpse of the monstrous entity shathon or shavon shathon shase shante 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 <laughs> all right let me read this seriously what the fuck as the corpse of the monstrous entity Thawne sinks back into the lava whence it rose, you grip the rune of earth magic tightly. Now that you have conquered the dimension of the doomed realm of earth magic, you are ready to complete your task. A rune of magic power lies at the end of each haunted land of Quake. Go forth, seek the totality of the four runes. And that's it, the end of episode 1, The Dimension of the Doomed. See this is closed off, I can't go back there anymore. And that's sad, because I, I had a like, you know, I, I had a nice time, it was like a beautiful time, you know. We were in the Slipgate Complex, we are in the Castle of the Damned, the Necropolis, the Gloom Keep, the Grizzly Grotto, the Door to Shathon, the house of Chathon, and we got him out of her Chathong. Him, her? What the fuck am I saying? It's late night. I need my sleep. That's all I know. And I'm probably going to have some nightmares, but I'm used to them. So, the next time, we will be entering the realm of black magic. Episode 2 of Quake. I'm Baron of Anarchy. Thank you for joining me for this Let's Play. I appreciate it, guys. If you like what you saw, please subscribe comment share this video there's gonna be more on the way and i hope you enjoy because if you did i'm a happy camper and if not then that makes me a very sad panda i don't even know what i'm saying have a good night people i'll see you all next time i'm out peace i love you all <laughs> take care everybody be safe